Cappadocia is known as the land of fairy tales. Sailing above its towns and streets on a hot air balloon will help you understand why. Its geographical formations are so out of this world, they're called fairy chimneys. Keep watching to learn about the best things to do in Cappadocia, Turkey. Hot air balloons. Picture yourself floating at sunset over a Goramine town with hundreds of other balloons below. It's one of the best things to do in Cappadocia and the area's main attraction. Over half a million visitors come every year to visit the number one hot air destination in the world. One hour flights cost between 175 and 220, and 90 minute flights cost about 250 bucks. Arrive early just before liftoff for a possible discount. Book your flight as far in advance as you can. Peak seasons are April through June and September through October. Of course, if you'd rather stay on the ground, you can enjoy watching the balloons go by or go to your hotel's rooftop or find the nearest balloon landing site. Valleys Another thing Cappadocia is known for is its many valleys. Love Valley sits right outside the city of Gorem. Its phallic-shaped fairy chimney formations can reach over 100 feet tall. It also has one of the best hiking trails and is a popular proposal destination. Farmers used to breed pigeons for food and to collect their poop for fertilizer in the Pigeon Valley. You'll see the holes they left behind, as well as excavated cave houses and churches. White Valley is connected to Love Valley and is an easy way to reach Uksar Castle. You can explore it by walking, on horseback, or with a quad safari. Rose Valley, also known as Sunset Valley, has impressive rock formations and rock-carved churches. Come at sundown for beautiful rose-colored shades. Red Valley has colorful rock formations. It's another great sunset viewing spot because the sun gets lit up in orange and red. Imagine Valley, or Devrent Valley, has unique rock formations that look like real-world objects. Sword Valley is the smallest but has the longest tunnel. It's also full of caves and is a great place to see balloons flying above. The Ilara Valley is a gorge with a river down the heart of it. It's an easy walk through peaceful nature. 16 of the 105 churches along the way are open to the public and full of intricate art. The 6-kilometer Zemi Valley Trail is wide and sandy. You'll go past caves, arches, and streams, and may see a few cave houses and earth pillars. The Meskinder Trail is a shady trail that takes you past historic sites. You can also hike the Rose Valley, Red Valley, and Love Valley trails. There are easier ways to see the best parts of these valleys. Try going on the green, blue, or red tours. Open Air Museums Open Air Museums are one of the best ways to learn about history, and there are two in Cappadocia. The Garem Open Air Museum is Turkey's second UNESCO World Heritage Site. It has an audio tour to guide you through its ancient paintings, churches, and cave houses. There are over 30 stops. The Garem Museum is open from 8.30 a.m. to 7 p.m., but closes at 5 in the winter. It costs 30 Turkish lira, or approximately $5. The Zelv Open Air Museum doesn't require a guide and has 20 times fewer visitors, but it's still one of the best things to do in Cappadocia. It was once an ancient town inhabited until the 1950s, when the Turkish government relocated them due to safety concerns. You can still see the remnants of their shops, churches, and mosques. Local Food and Wine Turkish food combines Central Asian, Middle Eastern, and Mediterranean influences. Dinner begins with a metza or appetizer like stuffed grape leaves or tomatoes with yogurt. The main course is meat like grilled meat or fish, meatballs, or stew. Turkey is known for its clay pot kebabs. The signature dish of Cappadocia is manti. These pasta packets are stuffed with meat or cheese and served with a tomato or garlic sauce. Get baklava for dessert. The full-day guided cultural and historical food tour is the best way to experience this diverse cuisine. One of the best restaurants in Cappadocia is called Dibek. If you want to learn how to cook Turkish meals, try a traditional cooking class for around $75. You can also get dinner and a show in town. It starts with a whirling dervishes ceremony and then folk and belly dancing before your meal. Cook a Bag Winery offers complimentary pours of its offerings. You can also buy a bottle and take home with you. Castles Ukasar Castle sits in the town of Ukasar in Cappadocia and is 200 feet tall. It's the highest accessible point in the region and was once home to 1,000 people who would use it to look for their enemies. You'll have to climb 100 stairs to reach the top but will be rewarded with beautiful views. The top of Ortahisar Castle is another beautiful viewpoint. 
The base has a series of cobblestone alleys and a cafe and wine cellar. The climb up only takes five minutes because you'll only get to the caves, ladders, and exterior stairs in the middle. That gives you a panoramic view from three angles. Cavusin Castle is a bit harder to find and to get to than the other two, but is worth a visit. It looks like it's part of the nearby mountain, but it's a fascinating tourist destination. There are hundreds of rooms to explore with beautiful views once you get to the top. Turkish Baths What's a trip to Turkey without a visit to a traditional hammam? There are several of them in Cappadocia. The Kelebek Hammam and Spa is historic but offers modern conveniences. They offer all the traditional services as well as a few extras, so check the list on their website. There are other baths to choose from and your hotel may even have one. That's another feature you should check for when researching your trip online. Underground Cities One of the best things to do in Cappadocia remained a secret until 1963. A local man discovered the ancient underground city of Derinkuyu by accident while renovating his home. Its seven accessible levels go 85 meters deep. The city dates back to the 7th century BC, and it was once home to over 20,000 people and their livestock. Over 10,000 Christians also allegedly hid here in the 6th and 7th centuries. Hiring a guide helps you appreciate and understand the history of the city. The Kamakli underground city is only 15 minutes away. It's smaller but equally fascinating with several tunnels and caverns. Cave Hotels If you'd like to explore the underground and spend the night before the surface, Cappadocia has you covered. There are a variety of cave hotels to choose from, but do your research on Check-in Gorem to pick the best one for you. Twin Fairy Chimneys The most famous fairy chimneys are the phallic ones in Love Valley, but they're not the only ones. There are more family-friendly options to find in Cappadocia. The Twin Fairy Chimneys are two of the best. They're amazing and they attract crowds in the hundreds. Lake Tuz This beautiful lake is only an hour away from Cappadocia. It has a bright pink color that sets it apart from every other lake in the world. Lake Tuz is not as popular as it has the right to be, but that means you won't have to deal with a massive crowd. Cavusin Village Cavusin is the oldest settlement in Cappadocia. Its 5th century church is also the oldest and largest. Come for the church, stay for the village. The deserted rock town is like a look back into history and a common place for tours to begin. Use the 4-kilometer hiking trail to arrive. You'll find it's another on the long list of beautiful sunset viewpoints in Cappadocia. Gorem Historical National Park No trip is complete without a visit to a national park. Cappadocia luckily has one that'll make you feel like you're getting a glimpse of all of its natural wonders in one place. This national park became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985. It's known for pillars, rock towers, and fairy chimney rock formations. Lover's Hill This spot in Garem Town is also known as Asaklar Tepesi. It's crowded with couples at sunrise and sunset, and it's one of the best viewpoints. It's within walking distance of most hotels. It's also a photo hot spot for snapping the hot air balloons. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Cappadocia? Do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.